Hey everybody, I am Borgi, and in this video I want to talk about the tariffs of the trade war and how they're affecting our economy and why the... Huh? What is this? Oh my god! Well. <clears throat> oh. Oh. I can't believe it! My boosted mini X is here! Well, screw this for once. It's finally here. Did you know that this is the reason I picked up skateboarding in the first place? Up until a year ago, this was the only way I knew how to skateboard. Whee! Well, after a year of riding a regular skateboard, I think I'm finally ready for a booster board. Let's go! Alright, so let's talk about some stats. The Boosted Mini X has a top speed of 20 miles per hour, which is approximately 32 kilometers per hour. It has a maximum range of 14 miles, which is like 23 kilometers. It costs 999 US dollars, and for me to get this shipped to Germany, including taxes and customs, I had to pay 1,300 euros. They shipped it from the US to the Netherlands where it was cleared through customs and the nice Dutch people sent it to me via UPS in just one day. I did pre-order it in March, April. And so I think this is like the first or second wave of the boards that they actually send out worldwide. Like I said, the Boosted Mini X has a top speed of 32 kilometers per hour, which is just ridiculous, it's incredible. But in Germany, it's also kind of a problem. Because you see, skateboards in general are considered a sport equipment. You're not allowed to go on the streets with them. You're fine to ride on the sidewalk, but they don't count as a mean of transportation, really. So all those electric skateboards and hoverboards that go faster than 20 or 25 kilometers per hour, they would usually require insurance by German law and even a license plate. So until the German traffic lawmakers have figured out what to do with those things, you're actually not allowed to go on the streets with them. You're fine to go on your private property, but who wants to drive up and down their driveway all the time? That's boring. Now I've been driving around for a couple of hours in Cologne and my board has already seen some traces of destruction on the bottom and on the side. There's scratches here and pieces broken off right there. But I mean those problems come with the territory. They, they are due to big curbstone edges, sticks and stones on the sidewalk, roots of trees bursting through the sidewalk, huge potholes, glass and trash lying on the street, but I don't think that's unique for Cologne. I think you've got those problems in any big city.
So it turns out I picked the hottest day of the century for this review. It's like 37 degrees Celsius today in Germany, which is like 100 degrees Fahrenheit, I think. But I mean, I got this board today, so what should I have done? Waited three more days? Anyway, I'm gonna ride some more now. That was it for this video. It's not the last video that the boosted board will be featured in, I promise you this. But until next time, don't wait. Go create. Auf Wiedersehen.